and then doing them, uh, publishing them off of yeah. And that can generate funds for the center. Abu! That is great. So welcome to the office of Mrs. Shelley Graham Du Bois, the second wife of Dr. Du Bois. You look like him. <laughs> you look like Mrs. Shelley. <laughs> That is Mrs. Shelley. She was a playwright, an activist, an author, dramatist. When she left the country in the year 1966, she was moving from one country to the other. Later found herself in China, suffering from breast cancer. So while receiving treatment in China, she passed away. But she made a request that she and the husband both attain the citizenship of Ghana. So wherever she passed away, she is dying as a Ghanaian. They cremated and collected the remains and brought it here which is right closer to the husband's grave, and we are going to see that. This room is dedicated to women warriors, selfless ladies. Most of the time, we talk about the men heroes, forgetting that behind every successful man is a strong woman. And when men were not there, there were women who stood and fought thoroughly in the absence of men. So we dedicated this room to women warriors. We had an exhibition. Most of the pictures that were here had no inscriptions. So we took them off. We are putting inscriptions on them, and then we'll bring them back. So hopefully next time, if you come, you are going to see a lot of women warriors pictures over here. That's awesome. There's a awesome. few, one over here, Penali from the Maroons and all this. Um, that is Mrs. Ellen Johnson, Sally, the first female elected president in Africa. Miss Liberia. That is um, the boys' packing case. It's a suitcase. So imagine getting to the port with this full of books. <laughs> you need more hands. So when you come here next time, each of you will have one of these as a suitcase for me. <laughs> However, you manage to pass through the vibrations that are about. There is a saying that women are smarter than guys. Is that true? Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> A hundred percent. This picture here. Yes. I'll tell you later why. Um, this is Mrs. Shelley when she was um, the director for Ghana Broadcasting Corporation. Uh, yes. And she's speaking to Chinese about this, this device? Yes, yeah. about this device. So you could see the Ghanaians yeah. right behind you. Yeah. You don't know what the device is, do you? No. Okay. And that is their life in China. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's move on to the next room. And that is the windows right there, family. Red, black, and green. The colors of vibrant energy matching with our, our Ghana tour t shirt. No, I'll wait. Let's all inhale the boys brain into our heads. government funding. I have another question. Yeah. Um, the books are obviously very valuable. Yes, yeah. Um, are, are they thinking of restoring them, making them into digital copies? How are they going to continue to have them so that other people can have access to them? Okay, Great so um, the Du Bois Museum Foundation they are based in the New York, the director and then the board of members, or they are in New York. They are in communication with the government of Ghana to take over the place and then restore the boys' legacy. 
So these books, it is in their plans to restore every single book there, and then make copies of them so that people that want to get the brain of Dr. Du Bois could also get it. Because most of these books over here, they are not out. They are not in print. And then you can never find them anywhere. So they are in communication with the government of Ghana. And then we are also doing our best by um, telling the people the legacy of the boys so that at least it would speak to the government to release it for them so that they could actually work on these books. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And just you said this one is available in print. Yes, the one this, one on is, the this one is available. Oh yeah, that's, that's the one I have. Job. That's this the one I have in my office. Yeah, this is it yeah. right here. Henry Louis Gates and then mm -hmm. uh, Anthony, Kwame Anthony Apia. They compile mm -hmm. this encyclopedia. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have this this for, uh, is the boys' library. It's only a few people I have encountered that they think about the past, I'm the present, this. and the future. Mm -hmm. Du Bois was one of the people that were thinking about the past, the present, and the future. He said that the problem of the 20th century is the problem of the color line. But now, I will say that the problem of the world is the problem of the color line. Mm -hmm. I agree. Oh, that yes, he saw the past, the present, and the future. Every single book that you see in this office was brought by the boys. It was accounted that he came along with 1,500 of books. The boys have read every single book in this office. He was a publisher. His total published works was 1,975, 1975 publications. So in all, you can imagine the books he's read so far and the published ones. This shelf contains a few of the books written by Du Bois himself. The down part of the books were written by the wife, Shelley Graham. The first two shelves contains books of the same title, entitled In Battle for Peace, the story of my 83rd birthday. Du Bois is no more and we are keeping history. Other than that, these books would have fallen out. So whoever wants one of these books, please make sure you come around when the boy is alive. <laughs> that will be in the next generations. But um, we cannot come to the boy's house without having some impact from the boy's knowledge. So, I want somebody to read a page of this book for us. Who will volunteer to read? No, you know, I have to volunteer. <laughs> there you go. So you read the title to them. <clears throat> In Battle for Peace, The Story of My 83rd Birthday by W.E.B. Du Bois, with comment by Shirley Graham, Masses in Mainstream, 1952. Good. So we are reading the indictment. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven, well, chapter seven, the indictment, page 51. God, this book smells amazing. <laughs> No, don't do that. <laughs> I know I'm old, but I'm not that old. <laughs> the first letter from the Department of Justice to the Peace Information Center was received August 1950. It read, the Peace Information Center is engaged in activities within the United States, which requires its registration with the department under the terms of the Foreign Agents Registration Act of 1938 as amended. There is enclosed for your information in this respect a pamphlet which contains a reprint of the act together with the rules and regulations prescribed thereunder by the Attorney General. To view of the in view of the length of time that has elapsed since the Peace Information Center has been acting as an agent of a foreign principal without having filed its registration statement as required by law, it is expected that the registration statement will be submitted forthwith. Continue. Yes. The Executive Secretary, Abbott Simon, replied August 18th, saying that I was out of the country but was expected to return in the near future and that I would immediately take up the matter with the department after returning. On August 21st, the department informed us that the absence from the United States of any officer of an agent of a foreign principal would not relieve the agent from the obligation to file a registration statement Mr. Simon answered two days later, saying in part, 
The Peace Information Center is American in its conception and formation. Its activities were intended to and do relate only to the people of the United States. It acts for and is responsible only to itself and to the people of this country. It has never agreed, either by contract or otherwise, to act as a publicity agent for a foreign principle as defined in the act, nor does it purport to or assume to act as one. Since the Peace Information Center acts only for itself and has no foreign principle, you can well realize our inability to understand the basis for your request that we register pursuant to the terms of the Foreign Agents Registration Act. At the same time, Mr. Simon sent our attorney, Gloria Agrin, to Washington, and she verbally and in writing reiterated the position of the Peace Information Center. The Peace Information Center was conceived and formed by a group of American citizens apprehensive lest the growing tensions among the governments of the world burst into a terrible conflagration which might well snuff out civilization as we know it. They believed that the overwhelming desire of the American people was for peace. They also believed that the avoidance of the mass destruction and human misery of a third world war was dependent in large <coughs> measure on the expression by the American people of their desire for peace. More? <laughs> can, I, can I ask a question? Yes. Um, yes. Based on what is written there, are they stating that the boy was a foreign agent? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. That is why he was denied travel for seven years. America don't play. Yeah. You know, shut you down, man. Yeah. They still and they'll do it. that to you. <laughs> they'll do that to anyone mm -hmm. of us mm -hmm. who purports to strive for the embitterment of your own people outside of the United States. Once you step outside, you have to register if you purport to espouse to uh, a belief that America is doing some of its citizens wrong. Therein, you have violated the law because you have not registered as an agent of a foreign country. All of that. Good stuff. Yes. Interesting stuff. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. So, these great leaders that were fighting for our freedom, they didn't get support. And then we have an um, a can adage that goes. So we be now a new for to man. If you will be falling, and it's those who are around you that will make you fall. So before you can be brought down, those who are around you, they will be a tool to make you to fall. And then before you can rise, those who are around you will be the tool to make you to rise. Mm -hmm. So all these great leaders that were fighting for our freedom, that they felt, those around them, were they too for them to rise or they were too for them to fall? That is what we have to think about. And then all these great leaders that were fighting for our freedom, they have laid down a foundation for us. Du Bois said as part of his last statement, that I have always been uplifted by the thought that what I have done ill and never finished will be left on for endless days to be completed while I rest for the next generation that are coming. Now I want to ask myself and you, are we continuing the legacy of these great leaders that have passed away? Great question. We are here in a part of this, bro. We are here in a part of it. Today we are here to learn the history, the legacy of these great leaders. We also share it to some other people, and then together it goes on. And that is the web of a spider. If you can pay attention over here to the curtains, you can see the spider web throughout in the curtains. And Du Bois initial spells web, W-E-B, William Edward Bergat Du Bois. The spider does not stay at one place. It is always moving. Wherever the spider goes, it leaves its traces. So even in the absence of the spider, you will meet the traces of the spider. The boys never stayed at one place. He kept traveling. He kept moving. He kept broadcasting the information out. He is no more, but today we are here to visit his legacy. So what are we also doing as part of the web of disseminating information into the next generation that are coming? I am doing mine. What are we also doing? So it is about time that the world needs to change. 
we need to tell our own history. We need to tell our own culture. Our history should not be told by other people. Our decisions should not be based on what some people's interests are. We should make our decision on our own interest. So it is about time we emancipate our brain about that. So any other questions? If no questions, then we are moving on to the next one. One question. Yes. You said that's available. Yes, that's available. You can How do we get a copy of that? Um, you can get it from Mystery. From where? Oh, Amazon. Mystery. Yes, you can get it from yeah, Amazon. Amazon? Yes. Okay. It's not gonna look like that one, but no. I got a I got a brand new one and it's beautiful. It's just no, it's like. How much was it? Five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. I'm selling it for. I'm, I'm, I'm holding on to it until it collects great value. How long did you want? Okay. It was a donation. <laughs> okay. 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 Okay, so we are moving on to the next room. As it is on our right. To the right. But yeah, um, I'll get I'll get y'all link for the book.